What is landlord and vendor farming? So we use it. We the hardest part for us as a state agency is having the content. That's the hard bit. So that's what we get from you that that works really really well. Um, the key to having successful landlord farming is using that contact content correctly because I think some people get it and probably don't use it or put it into an email and send it out to a database and we've been guilty of that in the past and we're constantly improving but we've had the best results where we've got that content and then recorded a video as well so literally put it on an auto queue and there's some software you can get to put on your phone or iPad or um, laptop to, to read it because I know when I get an email if it's just a whole load of words personally I'm going, I don't want to read all that. But if there's a video, I'll go play. Now, some people love the words and some people love the, the video. So I'll press play and watch it. And also, you've seen a person and you'll get in to like, know and uh, trust them. Um, and we've got a virtual assistant in the Philippines. And we say to her, take the audio of that video, yes. turn it into a podcast. So she'll turn it into a podcast. So that email can now go out with the text, the video, and a podcast and they can take their choice because if I was driving to work I'm not gonna be able to watch the video but I can push, press play and listen to a podcast or from going for a walk um, and then we can put that content into a printed material so a leaflet and, and deliver that to people who are selling or want to sell um, and then we can use that content on a, on a blog and again we have the text the video and the, the podcast and then that blog can be promoted on social media so the video goes on YouTube the blog will be going shared on Facebook and Twitter. And so it's not just the content, which is the hard bit. And all those things sound like a lot of work. But once you've done the video, the rest can be done by a virtual assistant. For those that might not know what the content is, what is the content? I know what it is because I write it. But okay. some guys out there might not know what it is. Okay. So I think it's fair to say that, um, that, that most people are interested. Well, so let me go back, go back. The problem with a lot of estate agents, to promote ourselves, we're saying how good we are. We're saying that we've sold the most, we've been open the longest, and we've got the most awards, and we're the best. And I think that just put a lot of people switch off, because they're seeing so many adverts every day, they just switch off to them. You know, you don't see the adverts on the, on the page when you're on, on, on the internet, or when it's on the TV, you're fast-forwarding or pausing. Um, so people are switching off to adverts. And it's a bit like when you meet someone in a party, and all they're doing is talking about themselves, right. saying how good they are. You're thinking, what a, you yeah. know, not, you know, and you're, and you're not interested in them. But imagine you're going to see a party and that person is talking about things you're interested in. And he's, I use the three E's. It's engaging, it's educational, and it's entertaining. Um, and they, they're more likely to capture the, the people's right. audience. And, and that's what you think to that guy. Yeah, really, really interesting. I liked him. So that's what we're doing with our estate agency, using your content. We're giving them information that they're going to be interested in, stuff that they're going to be, um, and it could be house prices and, and what's how many transactions there are, um, but it doesn't have to be that. But the point is we're not saying about our estate and see how good we are. We're talking about their market or their area. or The local property market, local, yeah. what's happening to prices and rents yeah. and yields. And that's getting you the results as well. You, I think you've got five offices that you now employ me on. Yes, so, yes. You know, and that's growing all the time because more people are going... Uh, you know, I get how to, you know, because everyone goes, oh, I'll just write it myself. I'll just do it. And then never get around to it. And it's not very good. Um, and it's worth paying you so that we can just have the content. And then we can go, right, let's just use this in all different mediums, um, printed, video, podcast. Okay, so what final, obviously I only work, well, you know this, but some people, I only work for one agent in one town. It, what would you say to any agent who I haven't got a client in who you think, should, should consider should they consider doing animal farming i mean or yeah. vendor farming and yeah. it works for both ready sales and lettings doesn't it yes i mean we use it in sales and lettings and it works for both um it's, it's an essential part of our our marketing promoting our business mm. you know every estate agency needs to be investing in themselves promoting their brand but but rather than saying look how good we are and getting some leaflets done buy your content and then re, you know get it out there to people and they they're going to become followers of your blog follows your podcast or your videos or look forward to getting the letter that's going to give them a market update and then when they come to sell they're going to go we need to use that guy because he knows what it, he's the he knows the, the authority 
uh, he's provided information for us and uh, he must know what he's talking about because so it's it's a simple but it takes time i must stress that you know don't yes. do it for three or four months and they oh there's nothing that's come it, we've had people come to us like you know they go oh yeah we've been getting your, your emails and and they, they read it they don't ring you to say i've just read it, it's really good they just read it and it's only when you talk to them a year later you found out that they're, yeah. they're loving it and they look forward to it and, or they're complaining if you didn't send one um, but yeah, without a doubt. Thank you, mate. Thanks a lot. Yeah, Cheers. you appreciate Thank you.